All right, this is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And we're super excited to show you guys this gorgeous drop top Mustang convertible. We're gonna drop our tops and have some fun today. So this here is one of the most beautiful 1965 Mustang convertibles that I've been around in uh, probably this last year. We've seen a lot of Mustang convertibles. This one here has been restored by a father and son team who've restored 20 cars together over the years. Uh, the father of this uh, restore, I was about 82 years old and, and the son is about 65. Together they did a beautiful restoration um, on this springtime yellow pony. About every nut and bolt on this car was replaced during restoration, everything was rebuilt and uh, took an eight year process but now the car's got about 500 miles on the restoration and ready for the next owner to enjoy it. Yeah, and they did a heck of a job. If, uh, if you guys go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see about 15 to 20 photographs of the trunk floor, frame rails, floorboards. I'll tell you what, this thing's done super nice underneath, very, very solid, and uh, it's all done in a red oxy primer, just like it should be. Do you have the keys for it, Chad? I'll fire up. Yeah, sure do. Here you go. Look at that catch. This thing sounds awesome. Wow, this car is hot. It sounds good, it fired right up. Just fantastic. Carries really good oil pressure as well. Come on in, Shay, you can join us here a little bit. Sure thing. And you did a little bit of research on this thing? Yes, I did. This is a uh, 289 car, um, about as original as it gets. This is in the original color. I checked the uh, door tag, the interior. God, I love this car. This thing is super sharp. Yeah, I don't it, really, I don't, not huge in Mustangs, but this is really catches my eye. As far as the door tag, um, you decode all the cars when they come in here. That's right. Check them all out, do the descriptions. What did you kind of learn here from this door tag exactly? What, uh, how did this car come? Do you remember? Uh, well, uh, I'd have to look again, but basically this is the uh, original c color. This is called buttercream yellow. And the interior is a, is a deluxe pony interior, just as it came. Um, it came with a uh, C4 cruise-o-matic transmission, just like this one has. That even, like, uh, I would guess that that shifter looks to be about it very correct, because that's how they would have came. And uh, honestly, this is just as very, very, like, code-correct car. Yeah, sweet car. I mean, as Dalton talked about just a little bit ago, this was a father-son project. They did mm -hmm. multiple Mustangs, and uh, they're both up in age and just decided that it's uh, time to... Uh, you know, grab a couple of their thin collection. The herd, yeah, right. But even under the hood, you know, the attention to detail, um, it's beautiful. And yeah. everything, like I said, the very bottom neat. side of the hood is painted just as nice as the rest of the car. Now you said butternut yellow. I mm. kind of thought maybe springtime yellow. I'm oh, not 100% yes. sure on that, so yeah. we'll have to check in on right. that. Yeah. How about this car with power steering, power brakes, uh, deluxe pony interior? I mean, a highly optioned little convertible too. Not sure if it has a power top or not. Do you want to go ahead and check that out? See if you can hunt for that. The top of the inner fenders are fantastic from front to back. The quality of the restoration, you can see the, the paint quality, all the bolts were all painted, put back in. Your factory uh, VIN number's there, just like it should be. Both tops of the fenders are perfect. No patches, nothing like that that you can see. Radiator looks power, new. Sorry, does have a power top also. No way. Yeah. Another great option, power steering, brakes, and top. I like the GT fog lights as well. As we look at the gaps, we go from front to back, nice uh, even gap, plenty of clearance, back of the hood fits perfectly as well, top of the cowl to the top of the fender and door, not bad at all there either. The top of the door fits in just a tiny little bit here in the corner. As we go over to the driver's side, same thing, um, nice gap here, just a little bit tighter at the very front, but the back of the hood here fits nicely as well. Windshield looks nice and clear, wiper arms look good, chrome around the windshield's all been restored, visors are excellent. I love that pony interior wow. also. Yeah, the interior is super, super comfortable. And the 
And Jed, I do believe you were correct. Um, I just looked at his springtime yellow. Okay, not good. Not yellow, we're going to crack correct. that. It is a springtime yellow car. Yep. And that's exactly how it came from the factory. A um, couple tiny little chips right here. As we go through here, not a lot of chips. I mean, this is a really clean um, paint job done probably in the last, what do you say, 500 miles for sure. We know that. Yep. Not sure on the maybe five, six years Seven ago. Seven years. Seven years, okay. Um, got a little paint chip right here. As we go along the bottom of the rocker panel, bottom of the door, quarter panel, that is excellent as well. I want to point this out. It's kind of an educational thing, but so many times, if you have a light yellow or a white car, I don't care what it is, and some of the cracks, if you get any bare metal, it just really shows that tint. Probably the worst part about the entire car is there's been two little chips here um, or scratches that have been touched up. But this is definitely a car you can take to any local car show be super proud of, maybe take home a trophy. I would definitely have to agree with you. You want to go ahead and put the top up real quick? We'll watch that go up in slow motion. As we open up the uh, door jam, fantastic shape. I don't know the status on how many of these cars came with power top, but uh, I don't think very many did. A lot of the ones I've seen have all been uh, manual tops. That's a not a very common option, these power tops in the 66s. And look how nice this one is. I mean, it's not uh, very nice and tight, beautiful up front. You can go ahead and put that down if you want, D. Yeah, as we go through this interior, it's just in great shape. We can see here just the little plastic cups right here. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be glued in just a little better, and that's just the, they've probably been redone. Door panels are excellent. Of course, the deluxe interior's got the uh, lights and the doors, and they work perfectly. The lights work under the dash in both spots. And with the deluxe interior, you've got your wood train door panels. Really nice. Got the deluxe wood grain steering wheel, the wood grain on the dash, 84,481 miles. Uh, very possible that those could be the original miles. We don't know, we can't verify that. Chrome around the back is all excellent. If you look down in here, you can tell this was like a, probably a rotisserie restored car. They even got the paint in inside the convertible top, the top boot, rails, frame. No expense spared. One other thing that uh, doesn't happen very often is somebody went ahead and put the, the uh, retractable seat belts in here. These make you know, it very nice. And you have a, you know, you got a shoulder belt. Yeah. Door shut good, body lines up really nicely, nice and straight. Inside the trunk, we won't have to open that right now, but it's all painted the springtime yellow as well, the trunk floor. So that looks excellent. And uh, all those pictures can be seen on our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comments. Perfect. Paint chip here in the side of the trunk. Another one right here, but very, very few imperfections. Uh, tail light lenses, tail light chrome, gas lid door, uh, reverse lights, and the bumper with the bumper guards are all brand new. As we look up and down the driver's side, nice straight body. Jay polished the wheels. I mean, they look brand new as well. It's got the hand cooked tires, uh, 195, 75, 14s. So pretty much exactly how this car would have came from the factory with the white walls, the 14 inch, 195s. And that's exactly how the restorer chose to do it. And that's what I think is so cool about this car. I mean, it, it looks like it stepped straight out of 66. This thing is incredible. Yeah, it sure is. Little tiny there again, a little tiny uh, rock chip. You can see where it's got a little bit to bare metal that's got that little road dust on it. Bottom of the front fender is perfect. Um, gaps nice and wide here in the front fender. 289 emblems are new. Pony emblems are brand new. Looks like the Mustang emblem right here needs a, a little uh, clip in behind it. Handles, gaskets are new. Here is our um, data tag. This 
was a fun fun one to decode. I will not lie because of just how correct this car is, which is pretty cool. Even the paint and the door jams, they did a beautiful job in finishing that up too. Um, and it truly is just as nice as the rest of the car. Yeah, it really is. Bottom of the trunk lid, bottom of the hood, which we pointed out, inside the trunk floor, a show quality, neat build. Why don't we go ahead and uh, take this little beauty for a spin and see what it uh, can do, huh? Yeah, I'm excited for that. It's a nice hot day. It'll feel nice with the convertible top. Though. It will. Listen to how nice that starts. I mean, it just starts so smooth. I gotta do it one more time, man. It's awesome. Oil pressure gauge, gas gauge, odometer works, amp gauge, temp gauge, everything works great. As far as on the dash, wipers, heater fan works, horn works. Man, these guys did a heck of a job restoring this yes, car. Yes, they did. They were no amateurs, that's for sure. Uh, exactly, look at the dash. I mean, just what a gorgeous job on the dash. So many people just forget about that. They leave it, you know, it just doesn't look like the rest of the car. Top of the dash is perfect. Dash pad is nice, steering wheel's excellent. It's an awfully nice Mustang convertible. It really is. As we look across the top of the hood, laid out, the paint's laid out nice. You know, and these little Mustangs weren't meant just to fry tires and stuff like that. I mean, they were just a pick driven your girlfriend, to golf. Yeah. yeah, driven to golf courses and just to pick your girlfriend up and go for a ride, get some ice cream. Exactly. Something you can still do with this little uh, springtime yellow Mustang today. Absolutely. Brakes are right there. Those power brakes work perfect. No pull left or right. Again, oil pressure is way over to the medium to high side. Um, showing that this motor seems nice and strong. We got the transmission down here in the green dot, which means it's going to take off from first gear, which is supposed to. Come on, little girl. This little pony didn't eat enough grass today, I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the heck. <laughs> Jason got the distributor wet. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yep. That's exactly what happened. So, we're gonna just go ahead and say, so once in a while, it's not even the distributor wet, once in a while he sprays some of that nice shiny stuff, covers up stuff, but if you get those plug wires with that, that cleaner, yep. they just, it throws fire. It just throws yep. fire around. So that's kind of exactly what's going on with it. But uh, as we go here, we're still doing 60 mile an hour, obviously it's, we gotta reclean that stuff off. Um, goes down the road perfect. Our front suspension is nice and tight. Steering is nice on it. Yeah, I remember I drove this car right when it came in and I was super impressed. Yeah. You know, just didn't miss a beat. But here's the brakes again. I mean, you, you can't get one to really ride and drive much better than this Dalton. And you know what? This baby's for sale and uh, Check out our website, coyoteclassics.com, and uh, you'll see all the pictures, price, description, everything on this thing. Absolutely. I'll put the link in the comments. Um, go on there. We've got all kinds of other inventory, too. A lot of sweet stuff. So check that out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. We can help with financing, arrange shipping. If you like it, we can make it yours. Definitely. We're going to go ahead and see if uh, just putting a little more miles on this makes it run a little better. Nah. We're gonna go ahead and obviously get this thing tuned up. It's not a tune problem, it's just you got the wires. You yeah. got the wires freaking wet. You can feel that right now once it wants to hit in. But we'll get that taken care of. Transmission shifts great, steering's awesome. I think I'm not really sure honestly if the radio works, but you know, uh, I think he said it's a new radio, but the previous owner said that he, this button here broke. So okay. that's, that's what that is. Alright. Kip down does work. Yeah. Go to coyoteclassics.com, check this baby out. Um, this is this is 80 mile an hour right here. No hands on the wheel, fantastic car. So we'll get that acceleration figured out. Um, not a big deal there. And uh, this thing will be ready to go to your garage. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always putting out new cars for sale. Um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, um, and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel.